Hey guys. Internet. We're in a blast furnace. Blast today. furnace. Uh, and if you can read Japanese, it also uh, blast below it, it also says <laughs> yes. Blast to furnace. Uh, I hope everybody has their metal beers ready. Uh, I know I. Metal beer. It's hot in here. That is why there's so many wavy screenness. So many wavy screennesses. Because we're in a furnace. Uh, as if you couldn't tell. So Who's that there? guy's whose job it is to walk around the furnace all day. Oh well, yeah, they gotta guard it. You know, it is a rough job. Apparently, they keep a blast furnace uh, right in front of where they keep all their important shit. So they keep it operating at maximum capacity, even under terrorist. And you up. see, like I promised, this is the fire level. <laughs> so it's where like, you get the the fire power up. Uh, this is where we get the bomb bag. Oh, do you kill Metal Gear by dropping it in the pool of, of slag? Uh, no, you uh, you feed it bombs. Oh, it's it's, it's like cool. a giant dodongo. <laughs> uh, well, then Metal Gear also hates smoke. You better believe it. It's really anal. It doesn't like to breathe smoke. <laughs> Just if you're like... It's one of those guys where you're smoking a cigarette and stands next to you like... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, just yeah, gives I, you the most evil eye ever. I hate those guys. Especially when they come around like the smoking area. And you're like, what? Now you're just being an asshole. <laughs> you made your choice. Okay, oh, well, let's, let's uh, take care of a camera and <laughs> fumble with a camera. <laughs> but that doesn't look like furnace things at all. It just looks like a giant pool of rice milk. <laughs> well, that's because they've melted down a large quantity of rice. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, it's molten rice. Yes. I bet that's good. Kojima did it. It's gonna be rice pudding. I love rice pudding. Oh man, I have rice pudding in the fridge. I should eat more of it. Can you make rice bread? Sure. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Um, but that's what all the celiac people do. I don't know and what it's that not, it's not, is. Uh, it's, no, it's not an acronym. It's just a disease that people who are allergic to wheat gluten. For when your intestines suck. Oh, when you're yep. allergic to civilization. Man. It's uh, misdiagnosed as irritable bowel syndrome a lot of the time. Because that's just man. kind of I the, feel bad <laughs> for those guys. Yeah. Uh, no beer. No beer, no, no bread. Good beer. That's why. Oh. They just Armor. get Barmer. Armor. It's, it's armor for going to the bar to get your rice beer. <laughs> well, I mean, everyone's going to call you a pussy for uh, being celiac. <laughs> nice intestines, pussy. <laughs> oh, rice bread. Okay. <laughs> Way to not be able to just manly wheat. <laughs> man wheat. Cream of man wheat. Mm mm. Uh, coming up is, oh. um... Coming up ramps! Coming up, like, uh, here, it's like, they had a great plan originally, so they decided to make it better. Oh, yeah? After I gather all this, uh, spare items, I'll show you what the plan is. All these items you'll never use. I have not used the fully automatic machine gun once. <laughs> I forget what the, uh, FAMAS actually stands for, but it's something very French. French army, massive assault squad. Spectacular! Spectacular! Uh, so, this cutscene has no talking or plot, so let's just keep rolling because the plan... Oh, it's it's like that scene in Half-Life 2. Yeah. Or Half-Life 1, excuse me. The plan originally oh, but was... Had grabs, ninjas. Four invisible dudes in an elevator where they can't get away from Snake. Now they're just gonna send four <laughs> visible dudes. <laughs> oh, That's exploding bullets! Maybe you won't do so well when you can see us, Mr. Snake. <laughs> Man, this this plan has had like four iterations and it never works. <laughs> At this point, the guys who get this mission from Job Jar are just like, ah, oh, fuck. You are one of four dudes on an elevator. Oh! Couldn't I get vacuuming the living room? Come on, please. <laughs> I'll, I'll do dishes, I'll wash and dry. I'll, I'll wash wolf, wolf dogs. Come on. 
Shockbot. See, they, they bought a shotgun. You got punched. That's manly as hell. Yeah. And you're standing there getting shot while you punch. Yeah, well, you know, I got B I'm, I got armor on now, dog. Oh. <laughs> also, you've got level three grip. I do. <laughs> you can just grab them and choke them to death. Well, with massive death talents. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna kill him. You can you, go you, to sleep. You knew. You can disappear. You, you can just disappear. Oh, it's amazing. And that Bad was wrestler. Elevator Plan Mark Two. Awesome job, guys. Awesome job. Mm, instead of putting four invisible people in an elevator, let's put four visible people in a sense. bigger elevator. In a bigger elevator, too. That's the key part, that the elevator is bigger. Mm -hmm. I've got room to move around, too. Awesome, At least guys. they can't violate space-time and exist outside of the, the uh, elevator itself, somehow. Oh. When you got on the uh, invisible dude elevator, it was like, uh... Why didn't he just, like, punch around and check? <laughs> it wouldn't have worked, I mean, gameplay-wise, but... Maybe you should have just lariated it around the elevator. <laughs> yeah, I just start Zangief and up in that bitch. You can't lariate all your problems. Uh, Zangief can. Well, you're not he, Zangief. He's the red cyclone. Come on. Oh, uh, rushing, rushing wrestling is always number one. You don't hear much about Russian wrestling these days, you notice that? Uh, uh, well, uh, every four years you do. That's because bears are all extinct. Sorry. Oh, no. If you've seen a bear in the wild, that is not true. It's a cyber. <laughs> it's a Russian wrestler. <laughs> Wearing the skin of the fallen. They or really... Why, why do you even bother walking over ammo at this point? Oof. Well, because M9 need bullet. <laughs> also, why did they put ammo in, like, the dumbest place? Well, the guy didn't want to walk all the way back to the arm race. He was like, I'll just hide it here, and then nobody will find it, and I don't need to walk across the entire base. I suppose. <laughs> let's, let's use another, another elevator. Uh, this one does not have dudes on it. So, it's pretty chill. Right? Um, I bet it actually has four invisible dudes, but by this time, they're just kind of like, mm. Whoa! It has birds! Ghost birds! Uh, let, can I... Uh, mm, no. Can't aim precisely enough. <laughs> uh, maybe if you had a real controller, oh, you could. Oh. Snake, I've got something to tell you about Naomi Hunter. What about her? Is this conversation secure? Don't worry, the monitor's off. Okay. What's up? I was in the FBI too, you know. I didn't know that. What's your point? Dr. Hunter's story about her background, about her grandfather being an assistant secretary to Hoover in the FBI. Yeah. And then going undercover to investigate the Mafia in New York? Yeah, what about it? It was all a big lie. What did you say? It was really bothering me. Why would she lie about it? She lied? She might be a spy. Ridiculous. Come on. Even a high school student could see past it. Didn't Naomi say that her father was Japanese? Yeah. At the time when Edgar Hoover was head of the FBI, there wasn't a single Asian investigator. Also, in the 50s, the undercover mafia sting operations hadn't even started yet. They first started in 1960, in Chicago, not New York. But you better check it out. The chief and the president mysteriously dying. That ninja. Too many strange things are happening. Are you saying that Naomi might be behind it? I don't know. Either that, or she's working with the terrorists. Could it be? If I find out anything, I'll call. In the meantime, be careful. Snake, there's a spy in your midst. It's probably Naomi. It's we're, we're all spies here. It's cool. Did you know that in Metal Gear Solid 1, Snake cannot make a decision for himself? <laughs> he is just goes along with whatever is suggested to him. It's pretty much all Metal Gears. Yeah, pretty much. He's kind of a patsy. Not Metal Gear Solid 4, Wappa Wappa. Eh. Now, Colonel comes and says, Yo, Snake, you gotta kill Liquid Dog. And then Snake's like, Alright. Okay. <laughs> well, the level's kinda built for that, so I guess I have to. My entire existence is a funnel leading me to one terminal end. Also, pay attention to that pal key. It's a friend. It's a friend. Uh, because it's how you watch TV in uh, Europe. How did these birds even get here? 
I don't. What? Well, <clears throat> uh, well, I don't want to say anything, but you see that. How door? did our monitor get frozen? Well, because it's, it's very cold. But we're just in the furnace. Well, yeah, they put the furnace on top because heat rises. Yeah. What is this, Alaska? May Lake, hello. Tell me all the things I need to know about Naomi. Huh? She's fine, I guess. What's up? Hey, May Lake, I like your hat. Man, Mei Ling, don't get jealous, girl. I want to know about you, too. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> you like her so much, why don't you call her? Mei Ling, are you a spy? Good luck, Snake. Uh, spy check. Good luck with the Naomi, Snake. Buddy spy check. <laughs> oh, I remember. <laughs> Welcome, Cossack. This is the end of the road for you, right, my friends? They're becoming excited. Ravens aren't scavengers like most people think. They're simply returning to the natural world, that which is no longer needed. Sometimes, they even attack wounded foxes. You were the one in the M1 tank? Must have been a tight fit for a big boy like you. <laughs> but that was no true battle. <laughs> The Ravens and I were testing to see what kind of man you were. The judgment is decided. The Ravens say you are a true warrior. Am I hallucinating? I can't move. The raven has put the mark of death upon you. Blood from the east flows within your veins. Ah, your ancestors too were raised on the barren plains of Mongolia. Inuit and Japanese are cousins to each other. We share many ancestors, you and I. There's no crows in my family tree. You ready? I am not fond of snakes, but you are family, so I cannot complain. But there will be no holding back. in Alaska too. You know of the world Eskimo Indian Olympics. With that strength, you must have been training in the stick pull and four-man carry. Yes, you are right. But there is another event that I excel at. It is called the ear pull. It's an event where two opponents pull each other's ears while enduring the harsh cold. It tests spiritual as well as physical strength. You want to pull each other's ears? The form is different, but the spirit is the same. Rejoice, Snake! Ours will be a glorious battle. This isn't glorious. It's just plain killing. Violence isn't a sport. Well, we will see if there is iron in your words.
Metal Gear Ridiculous Cutscenes. <laughs> cool. Oh, that bird is adorable. Also, in the original game, he talked about um, uh, the muck tuck eating contest. He was like, yeah, well, you fat and both great. What's muck tuck? I guess it's some Eskimo delicious treat. I'm uh, betting it's like pickled whale fat. Fred, you, you, can, uh, you can tell us what muck tuck it is. Ah, oh. oh, you were detected. Uh, yeah. This fight, uh, tried to do it, no kill, and kind of be sort of like up on the up and up, so. Because you're his brother. Yeah, we're both <laughs> Mongolians, apparently. You're very estate bros. Uh, you know, ravens, snakes, they're very closely related. Yeah, we're both <laughs> Russian, uh, Zetabeta Theta this fall, so. We're gonna be brothers. <laughs> you have to watch my stocks, but... I'm gonna... Man, facing off dude with a minigun while you have a pistol is bold. It's not even a pistol, it's a tranquilizer gun. Wow. Man, you've left all your blood there. Uh, don't worry, it'll freeze into a delicious treat. Then you'll slip on it. Mmm, bloodsicle! Oh, this game was made by Konami. Dracula's coming right behind us. Oh. I like how he's just gunning down the entire warehouse. Yeah, he's not even, like, caring which way he's going. Did you see how big his backpack full of ammo was? <laughs> <laughs> well, he is actually strong enough to hold the Vulcan cannon off a uh, jet a fighter. Yeah. Also, he threw a, what looks seemed like a couple ton worth of packing crate without too much. <laughs> so. Yeah, and then it exploded. He's, uh, yeah, he's, he does talk to me. he's a mighty big guy. He, he's gonna kick our ass in the ear pull competition. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you just pull your ears off. Not that hard. What about the wife, Gary? Oh, man. The Estonians win that every year. Oh, well, yeah. It's really not even fair. Uh, now is that <laughs> carrying <laughs> wives or wives yeah. carrying you? Okay. Oh, you carry your wife. Oh, I thought, I thought maybe you had multiple wives. And you won by a, how many wives you had. You win by somehow convincing your wives to carry you on a palanquin. Uh, <laughs> this is why Utah always wins! <laughs> so It doesn't seem to be going so good with this whole pistol thing, you know, against this... I think you're supposed to put missiles in his butt or something? You're supposed to put missiles in his butt, set up claymore mines, you know, and, uh, you know, it does, it's great. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, it, it doesn't seem to be doing so hot. This whole pistol well, he, your health is slightly higher than his stamina at this point. So. <laughs> I'm, I'm winning. I've eaten like a ration already, though. Shh. Got rations. You're, you're ruining the TV magic. Shoot him right in the ammo canister. Oh my god. Oh, look, I can take just as much. Oh, wait, I shot him, though. Oh no! Why am I. Get out of here, snake! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, only you had more cans. I wonder why he hangs out shirtless in a deep freezer. Show off how manly he is. Uh, okay. It's a spiritual thing, you wouldn't get it. <laughs> it's what a raven would do, basically. <laughs> Ravens are known for hanging out in cold places. Yeah. <laughs> and elevators. Meat freezers, you know. What are they freezing well, here, anyways? Well, Snake eventually die of cold. Uh, no, but his rations will freeze. Oh, if you don't have them equipped. Because when they're equipped, they're actually on his body. <laughs> Not in the pocket space dimension. Yes. Um, you can warm them up with various means. I don't want to spoil them if you show this out, so I'm... I'm, I'm yeah. Well, so there. Are, are you talking about steam heat? I'm talking about uh, the bathroom hand dryer. Oh, you, I didn't even know about that. You didn't know about it, that I, you could heat up rations with the frozen rations with the bathroom. Hand no, I, I never even touched the bathroom hand dryer. So, oh look, there's a hand dryer. That just changed everything for me. Uh, I guess yeah, I'll go. Now you'll never do the ultimate pro run. Maybe you should do a bonus. Well, no, I'm saying when I'm at work and I want to heat up some soup. <laughs> yeah, there totally. you go. There you go. You You're like, just... oh man, it worked in a video game. Good <laughs> <laughs> wouldn't lie to me. Put a bowl of chunky underneath the uh, hand dryer, and you'll be set. It's like a meal, dude. Donovan McNabb, what are you doing in this meat freezer? I'm making some chunky. <laughs> Would you stop him? No. <laughs> I, 
I don't want to get tackled by any football player, quarterback or not. Um, I would let myself be tackled by Terry Tate. Oh, yeah, well, maybe yeah. one time. Yeah. He is the cold train, so. <laughs> yeah, he is the cold train, and not everyone knows that, so yeah, Terry Tate is the cold train. Spoilers. And here's where I say, you know what? You know what? You know what? I'm gonna shoot you in the head, Vulcan Ray. I don't care. I'm gonna do it. Oh God! But then I, you, you I, do? You didn't? I, didn't. I don't think you did. I didn't take any help. I definitely had to have hit some of that meat. <laughs> he built up an immunity to uh, tranquilizer. <laughs> if anyone was gonna do it, it'd be him. Yeah. Uh, yeah. He, he pretty much snorts tranquilizer. Well, he was just, he was addicted to opium for a long time, and then since it's an opiate, you know. And then I decide, you know what? I'm gonna cheat. Just check out this business. Hey, look over here. Oh, your bullets, they can't hit me at all. Great. <laughs> awesome. Good job, Vulcan Raven. Good job. You're the best. So really, you could just lie down in the hallway and shot him. Yep. Just as the boss said, it is my existence which is no longer needed in this world. But my body will not remain in this place. My spirit and my flesh will become one with the ravens. In that way, I will turn to Mother. Earth who bore me. Snake! I will be watching you. Understand? Snake, take this security card. It will open that door. You are a snake, which was not created by nature. You and the boss, you are from another world. A world that I do not wish to know. Go and do battle with him. I will be watching from above. First, I'll give you a hint. The man you saw die before your eyes. That was not the DARPA chief. It was Decoy Octopus, a member of Foxhound. He was a master of disguise. He copied his subjects down to the blood. So he drained the chief's blood and took it into himself. But he wasn't able to deceive the Angel of Death. The Angel of Death? But why go to so much trouble? Why impersonate the chief? <laughs> that is the end of my hint. You must solve the rest of the riddle yourself.
In the natural world, there is no such thing as boundless slaughter. There is always an end to it, but you are different. What are you trying to say? The path you walk on has no end. No matter how far you go, or how many corpses you crawl over, the killing will never end. It's a future without hope. Hear me, Snake! My spirit will be watching you. Snake, it's me. Master? It's about Naomi. Turn your monitor off. What about Naomi? Damn. Colonel, is Naomi there? No, she's away. She's taking a short nap. Mm. So what is this about Naomi? Okay, maybe we'd better let the Colonel hear this too. Yeah, go on, Master. Well, basically, Dr. Naomi Hunter is not Dr. Naomi Hunter at all. What? I thought her story of her background sounded kind of fishy, so I checked it out. And? There is an actual Dr. Naomi Hunter, or I should say, there was one. But she's not the woman we know. The real Naomi Hunter disappeared somewhere in the Middle East. Our Naomi must have somehow obtained her identification papers. So then who is she really? She must be some kind of spy. A spy? Yes. Maybe she's been sent to sabotage this operation. Are you saying she's with the terrorists? I don't want to believe it either, but she is working for Foxhound. So, you think she had a part in the uprising? Or she could be working with some different group altogether. A different group? It couldn't be. Place her under arrest, Colonel. What? She's betrayed us, Colonel. She needs to be arrested and interrogated to find out who she's with. If she's one of their spies, then we're in big trouble. What do you mean? Oh, nothing. Colonel, have you let her in on some kind of vital secret or something? <sighs> Does this have anything to do with the mysterious deaths of the DARPA chief and the arms tech president? I... I have no idea. Anyway... We cannot allow her to participate any further in this mission. Wait. Wait a minute. Without her, we can't complete this mission. I knew it. You're hiding something. Give me some time. I'll try to get it out of her. Hurry, then. We've got to figure out who she is and what she's doing here. I understand. Snake, give me some time. I don't have any time left for you. Man, Master Miller is like wearing the big pants now. He's like, man, arrest her. Urgh. And somehow that makes Snake mad. But there was so much in the death speech there. And also, he is the first boss that also had a part of his speech after death. Anyway, let's get his uh, dog tag. Set dog tag. Take his minigun, dude. <sighs> his raven tag. It, it's too much for Snake. Nothing. It's Refill on rations, and the next time we see you, uh, go go get to ration me. Good job, past me. <laughs> the next time we see you, we will be going on a quest. A quest to make fun of Mei Ling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. that, that happens every time. Mei Ling, you pretty much vestige over this fine. operation. I refuse to accept that. <laughs> you want to do this stuff, Sammy? Either, but... Well, yeah, save anyone can save. I could save. So Only with my leg. I guess. Anyway, next time, the quest to stop or start Metal Gear, I don't remember. <laughs> um let's fire off some rounds and uh it's been a pleasure. You guys wanna say anything? Bye bye. This is how we defrost the ice. <laughs> <laughs>